welcome to Eric Blackman Music. <laughs> Welcome to how to play a guitar solo without even thinking about a scale. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. Now we're going to be working up at the fifth fret, playing an A note. And we're going to focus on that fret right there. We're not going to talk about scales at all. What we're going to talk about is getting to notes that we can use in a guitar solo without having to think very much, okay? All we have to do is think about our focal point, what we're going to focus on. Now, what you're going to have to do is trust me on this, okay? I know why this works, and I know the scales behind it, but what we're going to do is learn how to find the notes we need that sound good to work in a guitar solo. Now, we're going to be playing in the key of A minor. So that means we need to find the minor root, and that is at fret 5 on the guitar. Let's use that note, and we're going to use high A right there. We've got A here and A here, and we've also got an A here. That's at the 7th fret on the D string, so we've got A, A. A. If we want a high note, we've got one more A at the 10th fret, up there. Okay, so we're going to stay in the general area between the 5th fret and the 10th fret. Okay, we're not going to go up here a lot. We're just going to go up there every now and then to get that high A. Now what we're going to do is focus on the 5th fret. All the notes that we need to play in A minor are on the 5th fret. We can play We can play them in any order and it's really hard to mess up a solo if you stick to these notes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this fret to bookend everything. All right. So at the end of every phrase we play we're going to go to this fret. We can go to any string on that fret and it's going to work. Okay. This is going to work. You got to trust me on this. Okay. For instance, we can go to high A, and just lay on it. We can go to an E here, go to a D here, to a G. We can take that G string at the 5th fret and bend it up and get this cool sound. Like that. Okay? Now I've got band in a box on my computer and I put together a track in the key of A minor. I'm going to play a little bit of it and we're just going to play on one fret. Okay? So let's see how this works. One fret. imagination. You can do double stops, just grabbing two strings like that and picking them, or just do one string, bend up your G string, like that. Now, with this fret as our focal point, we're going to add some other notes. We can go half step below that fret, go to the fourth fret, and we can go... every string. Now we're going to try a couple of cool licks on these two frets, just using these two frets, okay? 
fret 4 and fret 5. Now, say we want to go to fret 7. We can do this. Or this. From 7 to 5. 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, seven, and we wind up at five. See that? Okay, now when we combine these things, we get a whole lot of cool stuff. Okay, so we go... Let's try that in our mix. scales and there was plenty of stuff that we could play and lots of ideas that we could use to get good sounds on a guitar solo. Well, that's about it for playing a guitar solo without even thinking about a scale. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. <laughs>